Larry at Hagemeister Enterprises. Wanted to show you a quick uh, image here of this of this old Warren Winch motor. Very good motor, very tough, very well built, very strong. This here is the brake assembly. What happens on winch motors is that the brake assembly is absolutely necessary and premier to have to save your winch. Because when you're winching and you're pulling something, a vehicle, logs, anything, you've got to be able to stop the motor when you let off the button. So when you let off the button, the load has to come to a stop. This assembly right here is an old fashioned brake assembly, which right here is your drum and right here is your brake shoes. When you pull this off, you can see how the needle bearing is. It looks like a typical needle bearing. Nothing, nothing extravagant. However, this needle bearing is kind of special. You put this together and it turns this way, but locks up this way. It won't, it won't turn that way. It turns freely as the winch is pulling, but then when you let off the button to let the motor cool down or rehook your snatch lines or whatever you're hooking up to, it will fling these brake shoes out and they'll come out into this cover and help slow your winch down on the retraction. Otherwise, you can just blow up the winch motor because the load will just need to shift five or ten feet and it has destroyed your motor. So very critical. This was something that they designed back in the 60s. Very, very neat design to help you stop that winch from free spooling backwards when it's hot.